guys, and today we're going to be talking empties. I'm perhaps wearing a little bit too much makeup to be picking through trash, but I felt like piling it on today. It was just one of those days. Anyways, let's get started. I have been super into using she masks lately, so I've used two up. The first one I picked up at an Asian grocery store here in Toronto. It's called TNT Supermarket, if you live here. Um, it is the Snail Essence Collagen Mask, and this was like 99 cents. Felt really nice and moisturizing, not too snaily, no more than any other sheet mask. And then from the face shop, I used up the Solution Pore Care Mask. And this got me thinking about sheet masks that are targeted towards kind of oily, acne-prone skin. I don't know that it's really as big of a thing for that type of skin type. I feel like a lot of the time they are more for brightening, for moisturizing, but if you have any recommendations, let me know down below because I love the feeling of a sheet mask, but I'm not always looking for something super hydrating. So if you've got things for tightening, detoxing, oily skin, um, I would love to know your recommendations down below. I then used up some makeup wipes. These first ones here are from Avon. They're the facial cleansing wipes for all skin types. I really liked these. I'm not super picky with my um, face wipes, so as long as it removes my makeup and it doesn't kind of sting my eyes, I'm all cool with it. Same with these Inglot ones. These came in a nice travel size pack, so I took them when I traveled. And then I also picked these up at Walmart when I can. These are the Equate Facial Cleansing Towelettes. There's 15 in here, and I think it's like two or three dollars. Again, really good for travel. I use them for wiping up my makeup desk, removing swatches when I'm taking, um, when I'm filming and that kind of thing. So I do really do love all three of these. Um, a lot of the time though, I will just pick up because I'm cheap when it comes to makeup removing cloths. I'll pick up the Life brand baby, what are they called? I have no idea. Let me show you. What are these called for babies, for their butts? The unscented baby wipes, yeah. So these ones have aloe and vitamin E, and then these ones are just like the President's Choice, which is like um, Loblaws sensitive baby wipes. And these cost like three or four dollars, and they're 64 in this one, 72 in this one, and it works just as well. If it can work on a baby's butt, it can work on my face. Moving on to some hair products. I used up the Dove Nourishing Oil Care Conditioner. This was really nice. Um, nothing like crazy amazing about it, but it also wasn't bad. I don't have that many memories of it, honestly. And then the Pantene Pro V 3 Minute Miracle. This is a deep conditioner. These are both really nice. Um, I'm not that picky with my hair products. I probably should be. I'm more like into my face than I am my hair in all honesty, because I just don't know what to do with my hair. Like I just don't know. So these were both nice. They left my hair feeling smooth. I always leave it in for as long as I can throughout my entire shower then I'll brush my hair out with my tangle teaser which is my favorite thing in the world and they both left my hair feeling nice and soft the brand Udad however I think that's how you pronounce it or Weedad probably we dad, um, is a curly hair brand that I absolutely love. And when it comes to hair products, if I can get my hands on this brand, I will. A lot of the time I'll pick, pick it up at Winners. This is their Botanical Boost Moisture Infusing Refresher, Refresher Spray. And I loved this. If you have curly hair, you know that your hair looks great on day one. On day two, you sleep on it and the whole thing goes to and for me anyways. So I love this for day two, whether I was putting my hair up in a bun, I would spray it just to get it a little bit more sleek. If I did want to try and wear my hair uh, curly the next day, I could kind of spray it in there and kind of like scrunch my curls and it kind of refresh them, but it didn't have too much weight to it to the point where it would weigh it down and make my hair look greasy or anything like that. So I did really like this and I highly recommend this brand if you have curly hair. I've got two body moisturizers that I used up, the Nip and Fab Glycolic Fix Body Cream. I really liked this. Nice and moisturizing, not too greasy and heavy on my skin. It was something that I could use when I get out of the shower in the morning before work. And it says it's a skin refining body cream with smoothing acids. I don't know, but it smells really citrusy, but in a kind of an interesting way. It doesn't smell like too lemony or too orangey. It just has a really great scent. And then also, speaking of great scents, the Body Shop British Rose. I don't know if I'm getting older or rose smells have gotten better, but I'm obsessed obsessed with rose scents. Um, I have the face mask like this and it's gorgeous. This is the Instant Glow Body Butter. I didn't realize that, but I was on a work trip and I was like, why am I why am I glowing? Like what's going on here? And I thought maybe I'd have my highlighter on my hands and rub my moisturizer in, but this does have a little bit of shimmer in there. Nothing obnoxious, but just something to keep out, keep an eye out for if you don't want to glimmer. Um, but I really love the scent of this. I really think this whole line is gorgeous. I've got the hand cream and the face mask, like I mentioned. Um, and if you are a fan of Rose, I highly recommend checking this out. I finished up a Bioderma. As for if I would repurchase it, I'm not sure. It's great. It doesn't leave a film on your skin. It does a good job removing your makeup before you cleanse your face. 
but there's so many good options out there now. Um, not to say that this isn't good, but I feel like for a long time this was so popular because there wasn't else much out there like it. A lot of eye makeup removers left a film on your skin, a lot of face removers were too heavy, and this was just so light and refreshing and easy, and it was something that you could even use in the morning if you just want to easily cleanse your skin that way. But I love the Garnier one, I love the Juvian's one, and both of those were in recent uh, favorites videos of mine. Marcel also makes a great micellar water, so this is awesome and I would potentially repurchase it, but I have found a lot of other options out there that I enjoy just as much. Lastly, I've got a few makeup products. Unfortunately, I haven't used up that much makeup recently. I don't know why. Generally, my empties are like a nice balance, but I haven't used up that much. Something I did use up is the Makeup Forever Pro Sculpting Brow. I absolutely love this. It's got kind of that like triangle style brow pencil, brow crayon sort of to it. So if you have really, really thin brows and you need to draw in like individual ha hairs, it won't be for you. But if you've got kind of thicker brows and you're just looking to add some definition, a little bit of color, even things out, I think this is a great option it's got a nice waxy texture but still deposits a nice amount of product it's got a great spoolie on there and then it also has like a little um sponge in there that allows you to have a little bit of a highlighter so when you screw the cap on it puts a little bit of a light powder there and then you can run that under your brow to add a little bit of highlight which i think is something super interesting and also great for travel and then another brow product that i used up is the nyx micro brow i think this is absolutely comparable to the anastasia brow Wiz. i think this one and l'oreal are the two best brow pencils from the drugstore that are kind of that comparable format to the anastasia one i use mine in the shade brunette it comes with a spoolie on it again and i think it is absolutely Absolutely fabulous and then the last product that I used up slash was a fatality of my five minute makeup challenge is the physicians formula eye booster unfortunately I only got to use this like maybe five times and it's not that the product ran out too fast it's that I did my makeup in five minutes and was like throwing things everywhere on the floor while I was filming this stayed with the lid off on my floor for like two days and it just did not survive it was good while it lasted I did enjoy it I know a lot of people really do love it unfortunately it doesn't survive without the lid on which no surprise there I am so sorry you did me well. <laughs> if you want to see my five minute makeup challenge, by the way, I would link to that down below. I think I did a pretty good job. Anyways, that is everything that I have used up recently. Let me know if you've gone through any products because it's always a beautiful accomplishment when you can finish things, especially when you're a product junkie like myself and probably like yourself. If you'd like to connect with me, you can find me on Instagram, Twitter, and Snapchat at Samantha Jane YT, and I'll see you guys next time. Bye.